Hi everybody, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I am back today um, with my new die release. So I've got a lovely new die coming out today. It was originally meant to come out in the beginning of January but with the unexpected house move it's sort of been a bit postponed. So I'm going to get straight on because I'm pushed for time and I really want to get this out and I really want to show you. So this is the new die it's called lots of love and obviously it's a heart die it has loads of lovely little hearts inside of it but another great thing is i like to make sure you can get more uses so this die has an outside cutting edge which means you can just obviously get a regular heart out of this this one has no outside cutting edge so you can cut it into the cardstock um, or you can use both together and have it completely cut out which means you know you can do things like make your own stencils and stuff like that so i think it's a beautiful die and don't just think valentines you can use hearts for all sorts of stuff so that is the new die now i have got I've only had a chance to make a few samples but this one here I think is really nice because I cut it out a plain heart then I cut the heart again but then the second one I've cut the inlay piece out because you can see it's quite thick I put it up on foam pads and I just filled all the little hearts with different colours of cardstock which I thought was really really nice so that's the first one now this one dead simple I just cut kept all the little hearts I think I cut the heart out twice from two different shades and then I just lined them in a little put them in a row and I've just put I'm touched beyond words and that was a thank you so don't as I said it, it doesn't just have to be for Valentine's now this one I think is quite clever actually so as you can see I've used two hearts and I haven't just like laid it on top of the of that one because if I did then you would see the red underneath. I actually cut a heart then I cut the other heart out of that heart and can you see I layered it back over so it sort of gives an illusion of it being on top of the heart but it isn't because that's how you can see the white underneath and I thought that was really really nice. There's another one and this one is just really simple. I just scored around it and I just put some sort of, you can see that sort of like a mirrory card underneath. And then I used a little banner, which I've got some of these on my website, but I'm gonna show you these in a minute. Um, and I thought that was really nice and simple. And this one, I didn't get a chance to do anything with it, but what I did was I created, I made this into a stencil and just stencil different colours of Distress Oxide in it. But then the bit that was left, the actual stencil, you know, you can definitely go and then put that on a card and get two uses out of that. So it's such a versatile die and it's 6 99 and I think that's a great price. Um, free postage in the UK. I do ship overseas. I ship all over overseas, actually. And I think the postage is about, I think it's £2.99 um, for the USA, Australia, New Zealand, etc. So not bad at all. But yes, these banner dies, which I think are really cool. When you cut them out, because you get a set of them, they actually cut out like this. But then... You would stamp your message or whatever on there and then you just fill it back in which means you can then have this colour you can have your outside banner a different colour so you can have it like two different colours but you do get you get quite a few you get a, i think it may be five and, and they're sort of like different shapes and stuff but i've got them on my website same as these type of banners here I have a set of these on and um, I think you get four in total different sizes so you can have a look at them if you're going on to see the new die but I'm going to quickly show you how it cuts out because this die just cuts beautifully 
So if I get a bit of card, So I've got a bit of red card here. And we can cut it out both together. So I'm going to pop it on. Okay, we'll just run that through. If I can find my other plate. And I'm just going to run it through once. You'll see, I mean, this is quite thick cardstock, but we just all basically flick out, apart from that one which needs a bit of a tug out. But yeah cuts beautifully so yeah it's on the website now i hope you like it i'll be making more stuff with it as i said i just really wanted to get it out and i'm sort of in a rush to get this out because it should have been out by now but i'll put the link underneath and it'll take you straight over to it so thanks very much take care and bye for now mm -hmm.